Alright everybody, this video is for my buddy Marty. Okay now, this is a piece of titanium. I have one more piece similar to this. I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot out of this. I think after I make this knife, as it turns out, I'm going to get some, make some arrowheads out of it, like primitive arrowheads. Um, so, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to show you. It's kind of a rough drawing of the little knife. I mean, if you look at the size of my palm, and that, that's the one that's going to go into my fishing kit. Now, this is going to be my new neck knife. That's obviously a piece of paper, so um, I'm going to be giving some things a lot of paper cuts. Uh, but I have that shape drawn on the blade here. I'm going to show you the plasma cutter in action. Um, I think. I'm debating whether I should leave this open and just do like a paracord wrap on the neck knife. I don't want to lose this blank because I may use that for the future. So I don't want to put the scale. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I want scales on it. If I do scales, I'm going to do a really, really thin on the neck knife. This one here is not going to have any scales on it. That's just going to be a little knife and it's kind of a stupid idea, but I'm going to see how it works with the titanium. I don't have any other use for it, so, and I only have just a little bit of it. I have some other pieces. A friend of mine got me when he worked for, um, Boeing, which was McDonnell Douglas, and he's dead now, so I have no way of getting any more. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is clamp this blade down right here with these quick grips. And with these, you really don't need any sort of um, eye protection as far as you know, like welding, you know, you you want something there so shit doesn't fly in your eye. And, uh, it's kind of better that way. You know, you don't want hot shit flying in your eyes. But I got the plasma cutter fired up. Um, by the way, the air compressor will be kicking on, so through the video you are going to be hearing the air compressor kick on because this uh, plasma cutter does require air. And it doesn't create the cleanest cut, but what you do is, I should have done this beforehand, but what you do is you take this thing, and uh, this is the ground, and it attach it to whatever you're trying to cut. Then, this is the fun end. Son of a bitch. Okay. This right here is the fun end. Yeah. That's the fun end. And it's hot, very hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Let me double check and make sure this thing is hitting on all eight. Checking. All right, you can see it. Here we go. I'm going to cut this piece out, barefoot and all. Here we go. Ready? Now don't try this at home.
ever adult beverage. Mm. But it's pretty freaking fantabulous. Now, also, when you're cutting with the plasma cutter, since it doesn't cut, like, really precision, you want to kind of try to cut a little bit outside your line so you can, you can make that up with, you know, grinding the material down. It's going to start up here in a second here. fucking warm. God damn it. Wow. Probably should wear gloves. Okay, the breaker trip. So, I'm going to conclude this video here shortly. You guys got the idea. Um, I'll start it back up here as soon as I get everything else going. And um, But yeah, you guys got the gist of how the plasma cutter works. <laughs>